Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII Part 42. I'm your name is Stream Nubis. Let's play Snows from CNC Productions. Where we last took off. Well, we were actually at the Still Shrine of Miriam. And we saw smoke coming from that area right there. So yes, I actually teleported over here. Um, and what I did was use my licenses up. And as you can tell, pretty much everyone's got each of their mists. And Barsh has actually got two. Of his miss gauge, so his MP is actually higher than normal. So what I'm going to do is, you need to save. I'm dead serious. You need to save because there is going to be a major hard fight coming up, and I mean major hard. So, um, yeah, let let us continue. Let's go through with this. Let's see what is happening in Mount Baromisais. So we last took off. We'd killed Mate Mateus, Matey, Matey, Mom, something like that. And that looks bad. That doesn't look good at all. Yep, we killed Matius the Corrupt. We've gotten the, uh, the summon, the Esper, pretty much. And I gave that to Balthier. And we'd finished Still Shrine of Miriam. Uh, we got the Sword, the Treaty of Things, Kings, I think it is. Sword of Kings, yep, there we go. And it's pretty bad, two-handed sword. But, yeah... We left and we saw smoke, and it looks like the Arcadian fleet had come by and attacked. Seriously, attacking refugees is just downright wrong. Alright, let's continue then. So from this music you can tell that it's pretty depressing and sad at the moment. Especially if you head over this side, you'll see some of the kiltiest people that'll be wounded. Wow, this is terrible. We began speaking with the Arcadian forces that arrived from the judge. He suddenly drew his blade. A judge? A judge is here then? That they would profane the holy mountain of the Kiltius so. Has Arcadia no fear of the gods? From this music here, you can it has a part of the theme of destiny in it, which is um, a really great theme, but unfortunately they've made it a very depressing theme, which is understandable. I mean, by the look of it, Arcadia is going to do anything just to gain power. Oh lordy. This place is in ruins. A judge? Oh, it's ah, you. Our vagrant princess. Swift has your lust for revenge led you to the Sword of Kings. Judge Bergen. Oh, crap. <sighs> you will surrender it to me. Too late and to their sorrow do those who misplace their trust in gods learn their fate. This guy has heaps there of awesome cards. Now prepare yourself for a fight, a really hard fight. Fran, I don't like the look of that. This mist, he holds a stone. It controls him as it did Mjern. No, no, the power of manufactured nethersite is the power of man. A weapon forged by his wisdom who would challenge the gods themselves. A fitting blade for a true dynast king. Wraithwall did but pretend the title, a cur begging nethersite scraps from his master's table. Park, Ivalice hails her true dynast king, Vain Solidor. Hell no, she doesn't. Defy the will of the gods and see the reins of history back in the hands of man. His time is nigh! The new Ivalice holds no place for the name down Masker. The stain of Wraithwall's blood shall be washed clean from history's weave. This guy is some of the coolest quotes ever, and this fight is going to be hard. Hey look, it's Judge Bergen. Hey look, there's three judges. Yes, you've got to take on four judges at once. So you know how we're going to do this? I'm going to show you a mist quickening. That's if I do well enough. I hope I do well enough, but Barsh, let's do this. Actually, wait, let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Okay, now let's do this. 
Let's attack this judge here. Actually, no, let's go for Bergen. Ruin in pendant. So to do a quick and it comes up with the option commands here. So for example, press triangle for Van. So now he's gonna use his red spiral. One, two, three. And you're dead. Say goodbye, Judge Bergen. Alright, so what you're supposed to do is build up your quickening chains. Um, if they aren't able to use the quickening chain command, then what you do is you press R2 and it charges it. So, Pinello is going to be using intercession. I believe that is overkill. <laughs> um, the thing is, those with missed quickening chain things, um, it actually has a chance of. Well, it doesn't have a chance, it actually lowers your MP to zero when the person uses it. So, for example, if you let Barsh and Van attack and Pinello doesn't, then she keeps her MP. Intercession again. Now, the thing is with Miss Quickenings, or chaining them for that matter, um, come on, let's get another one, no, alright, so looks like we're on 6, uh, the more hits you can get, the bigger amount of damage of course, but this happens. Based on the certain rank of the mist, it has a chance of doing, and how many hits of course you hit, it does a mass AoE damage, see look at that, look at that. Bergen got demolished, and so did these judges. So I say we should probably take care of these guys. Let's take care of the judges. Unfortunately, we have no MP, so we can't heal or do anything such as that. But I don't even think we'd need to worry, because I'm going to use a Miss Quickening once this team's done. And take care of Bergen myself. Come on, Van, you can do it. Yep. Okay, I'm happy with that. Okay, it's time to kill him, once and for all. Now it's Balthier, Fran, and Ash's turn. If I had all three of their mist combinations for every character, this would be awesome to demolish him with. Oh, he doesn't have a mist. Oh well, let's just summon him. So, let's take care of, um... Yep, Judge Bergen. This is Fran's one, called Feral Strike. So at the minute, it'll only be Fran and Ash doing the quickenings. You must endure. Goodbye! Once more, friend. Seriously, that's... What they're doing right now would, like, absolutely murder the person. Look at that. It's like an influx or something of damage. I, I don't even know what I'm going on about. Let's just kill the bugger. Now do the massive explosion and finish Bergen off once and for all. With Inferno. And... You're dead. And he's judges alive. The other judges. He's hallucinating, he's going crazy. Well, that was interesting. <sighs> he set his very bones about with manufactured netherside. The Grand Kiltius? Wait, what about Larsa? Gone, uh -oh. spirited away by Judge Gebrandt. You okay? So he was here. David Caruso is not uh, all right. As for our young lordling, he went along to avoid trouble, you see. But Judge Bergen had other ideas. He flew into a rage, and I was left to fend for myself. Please, Princess, you must permit me to take you back with me to Rosaria. So that you can protect me? I would lay down my life at a single word to be sure, but I harbor no maundering delusions of valiant grandeur. Vain has our war pavilion jumping at shadows. 
They favor a preemptive strike, but you, you will convince them otherwise. You will see that they do not start this war. This I cannot do. Forgive me, but my errand here is not yet done. I must wield the Sword of Kings, and with it bring an end to the Dusk Shard. <sighs> this stone, do you even know what it is? I can venture a guess. The Draclaw Laboratory in Arcades. The Empire's weapons research begins and ends there. How soon do we leave? At once. As for matters in Rosaria, I bid you luck. <clears throat> so you would leave each to fend for his own. Let us hope that you are not disappointed. <sighs> ah, that's right. Larsa left a message. The differences between our two lands will fade before the shared dream of men. My leave, I take. Well, looks as though our next mission, I guess, is to go to Arcades. And a lot has happened. So the Grand Kiltus has died, Bergen has been killed by us. It looks like he was consumed by the power of the Nephysite. It just goes to show, nothing a bit of quickening chains can do. How do you propose we reach Arcades? Arcadia's borders will be well guarded for fear of Rosarian invasion. We dare not approach by air. And their navy will see that the coast is watched as well. No, we go afoot. We'll cross into Arcadia in the Salica Wood. We can reach the wood any number of ways. But the easiest is to head north from Nalbana. There is a hunter's camp just beyond the Salika Wood. The camp sits within Arcadia's borders, so Imperial patrols there should be sparse. Getting that far should be half the fun. Let's be sure we go prepared. Couldn't have said it better myself. So. Looks as though we're going to be on our way to Arcadia, but this place is going to have the sorrowful music playing for the rest of the game because they're mourning the death of the Grand Kiltus. All but Omicis mourns the passing of his grace Anastasis. Now it falls to us to choose another Grand Kiltus, yet no one steps forward. I fear the future of the Kiltus is imperiled. Should, it, should the Arcadians come again, what will become of us? We have no strength to resist an attack. Light's mercy on us all, Farum. Well, I guess I'd say it'd be a right time to save right now and probably stop recording. Yep, so from the look of things, we're going to need to head all the way back. If we go on the world map. Go all the way back or teleport to Rabinasta. Head through the S descent all the way up to Nalbina Fortress. Looks like it's the only way, so let's do that then. But as you can tell, I mean, I had to use all of my missed abilities, except for Balfears, of course, because he doesn't have one, he has a summon, just to defeat him. And there was still one judge left anyway, so that fight is extremely hard. So it probably would have been wise to have done that miss quickening. Alright. So, I'm Anubis from Anubis Let's Plays, also from Teensy Productions, and you'll be watching Let's Play Final Fantasy XII, Part 42. I'll see you next time in Part 43, where we will, well, begin our journey on going through and trying to enter Arcades by going to Nalbana. So, have a fantastic day, and goodbye. <laughs>